Hi everybody, it's Donna from Glory Grace Farm. Just thought I'd check in real quick and show you my garden and how it's growing. This will be a brief video because I don't have a lot of space on my phone right now for some reason. So these are my tomatoes. I've got this one in a hanging basket. It was an experiment. Store-bought um, Tammy G uh, cherry tomato. And it's got really good tomatoes. They're just the little regular cherry tomatoes. And then here we have the black cherry tomatoes. They're really good. Everybody's liking them, so we're definitely going to do more of those. This is my only sickly looking. I keep pruning and then it, it perks up and then it come, starts to wilt again. Not sure what's going on with it, but it's a yellow pear. And then you can see the other this one's got blossoms on it they're doing well i was late getting everything in so i'm not getting production like everybody else is right now but they're coming on i'm going to fertilize again today i used fish emulsion last night for the very first time so today i'm going to do my other amendments that i've not done in a bit so then back here that's a sad looking little broken tomato it's trying to hang on so I'm just leaving it be. I stuck it where I thought the watermelon was dying, but now the watermelon's perked up. Hi, chickies. Y'all gonna come say hi. They're doing good. I love the poultry net. I need to get some extra supports because it gets saggy, but they don't jump over too often. And then we have the other watermelons growing. There's one of my little babies i don't know how it's gonna do it's got a funky looking end on it and then there's another one let's see if i can find it on my there you go back in there and then we've got uh i think those are charleston grays if i remember correctly and then we've got the little round stripies that i think are jubilees oh there's another charleston gray back in there and then I've got several of the stripy round ones growing. Um, the lighting's not too great right now. But you can see my corn. It's stunted. It's not super great. It is putting on ears. So we'll just have to see what happens. Squash has been doing good. I've gotten two harvests off the squash so far for mom. So she's been happy about that. Um, you can see this year I got smart with my tomato trellises. I got real T-posts. And then I used a, um electric fencing wire that I bought for different projects. And then paracord um, to tie them up. And I ran out of paracord, so I had to go to the stretchy green tie-up ribbon for gardening that I had left over from the year before. Uh, you can see my peppers are coming along, getting big and pretty, starting to put on little babies, so that'll be good to put peppers in the freezer for mom and stir fries and things like that. This is getting some little babies on it. My tomatoes are all mixed up this year <laughs> for the most part. My, we had a really big storm after I set everything out, and um, what tags I did have, marking, most of them got blown away. So, it's just kind of, okay, I can remember this one is this, and, you know, by their appearance, once they start coming in, I'll know my Romas from my San Marzanos and my Yellow Pears, but the homesteads and the money makers, they kind of all look the same. So, I just planted the same varieties as I did last year except for the black cherries. There's my beautiful okra plants. They're doing really well. I wish I'd done more so that they've gotten more in the ground or and then more in the freezer. But the cucumbers have been doing really well. You can see them all stretched out in between here. I really needed more room. They took off. That's okay. I just kind of climb around and you can see the cucumbers in there ready to harvest. I brought my basket out. I got me a basket at the Dollar Tree day before yesterday to use for my harvesting once everything starts coming in. Oh, look, 
you can see the okra I gotta get in today too that'll go with what I got I do have some bees I think pollination has been a little bit of a problem for some things I don't know but I do have like bumblebees more than anything I've seen a few honeybees but I didn't get the flowers set out that I wanted to get to draw in more pollinators but yesterday I came out just checking everything early in the morning and a hummingbird was out here and I have not seen a hummingbird around here in years and years so we had bought these little hummingbird feeders last year sometime and I had recently just dug it out to bring it outside and put in the greenhouse so I got it I looked up the recipe and mixed up it's four to one water and sugar so this is the good sugar it's not crappy sugar so um, it won't hurt the bees and I didn't put any dye in it so then like I said you can see the corn it's stunted some of it got taller than other somebody was turning around if you heard that vehicle um, but it is putting on ears you can see Let's see if we can go over there a little closer. You can see the silks. Some of them are starting to die off. So I don't, I don't think my corn's going to be a success this year. I don't know why. Last year's was a problem because I didn't put them close enough together. This year, you can see, I put them much closer together. But they still, something's just not right with the pollination or the development somewhere along the way so next year i am going to direct sow because this year i did do the in the trays again everything looked beautiful was doing really good but it's just it got so tall and then it just stopped and then it started tasseling and then you can see the silks coming on, but the ears look like they're like microscopic, so I don't know. But then this is another row of squash down through here of different varieties. This is a uh, butternut, I believe, and then it's next to a zucchini. That was a oops on my part. We've harvested one zucchini, and you can tell I need to water. It's been really dry. Some of the people I watch out in Arkansas, they're like, man, we're just getting so much rain. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could get a little bit. We get enough here to wet the top of the ground, and then it's evaporated off in no time. So it's not been fun for that. And I still haven't gotten into the drip irrigation or anything yet. Def definitely that will be a goal for next year. Um, about out of time. But I will say I will not ever garden again without weed fabric. I splurged and got the weed fabric, burnt the holes with just a lighter. It burnt them fantastic. No problem whatsoever. I didn't have the little propane like thing like a lot of the YouTubers use. And I just used my little lighter and went around and it's like a little torch lighter. Was able to trigger it and burn my holes and it did fantastic. So that's just a quick update. I will try to do another one in a few days and show more of the ducks and the chickens after we get the chicks moved out. So God bless everybody. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family and remember to love everybody.